challenges facing Glasgow are very similar to the challenges facing the UK. As a country, we ran ourselves in what is now was now clearly shown to be an unsustainable way. Households, the banking sector, businesses accumulated too much debt. A lot of good discussion on the sort of bigger picture. A very realistic argument put forward on the strengths and the weaknesses of our economies. It was thought-provoking, interesting and stimulating to get the wider debate about what's happening in Scotland and the UK as a whole. Let's just say that we continue to grow at around 1%. It's not a disaster. So I don't think this is a recipe for doom and gloom. It's just, in a sense, a recipe for rolling your sleeves up, getting on with it and you know, committing to the hard graft that's necessary. It's useful to get a, a sanity check on your own perceptions uh, of how the economy is doing and how your own market is doing and the market should be used in trading as well. So again, the two elements of contributions was uh, very valuable. The Glasgow Talks events are very worthwhile. That uh, breakfast meetings uh, gives everyone the opportunity, obviously, to, to network and, and listen to excellent speakers such as we heard this morning. It's a fantastic way to get people in a room together, to actually get stimulating debate going, to make people think about what, is, what their job does and how it, it plays a part in Scottish life. It's obviously a very important way for business of getting out of the office, out of the, their own corporate silo, of listening to the voices that are coming in from other sectors within the economy and perhaps challenging themselves with, with viewpoints they hadn't previously thought.